Bob, do you hear me? Chivers is not one of the substitutes. So when you go along there, I say, and don't forget, there's even Martin Chivers, worth, what, 250,000 pounds of anyone's money, who is not even a substitute. And Mike Summerby sends his best regards to Danny. He said he'll ring you on Monday.
They're in the tunnel waiting, Bob. They're in the tunnel waiting to come out now. And you, Bob. And here they come, Wales on the left, in an all-red strip with yellow collars. Never more proud, of course, than when they are wearing the red of Wales here in Cardiff. Although they've never beaten England since 1955. England, meanwhile, hoping to find the spark that they never really showed in Berlin. Let's pick up on the sides today, and first of all, the Welsh team. They had a nasty surprise uh, yesterday when John Toshek, one of their strikers, went uh, down with a chill and sore throat. But he's now fit, they're full of confidence, and they must be buoyed up by the presence of men like Hennessy and Durban, fresh from their championship time with Derby County. Today could be a great one for Wales, particularly if their three main strikers can break through, like Ron Davis, for example, who had a brilliant last couple of months with Southampton. John Toshek, the number 10, who had that scare yesterday but had a fine season with Liverpool, and Wynne Davis also, who's learning all the time with Manchester City. As for England, a solid look about that defence that did well enough in Berlin last week. Hunter and Storey to compete ferociously for the ball in the middle of the field. But England want goals, and it's Malcolm McDonald winning his first cap for England, who'll be wanting to supply them for Alf Ramsey this afternoon. The referee is Bill Mullen in the centre there, from Dalkeith near Edinburgh, who in fact last season refereed the World Club Championship in South America between Panathinaikos and Nacional and got worldwide acclaim for it. So still no respite at all for the big crowd here at Ninian Park, though soon one fancies they'll be able to forget the wet. And away we go. Wales all in red, defending the goal to our right. England with white shirts and blue shorts. So a powerful looking England side, but what about that for a substitute bench with Larry Lloyd and Colin Todd and Martin Peters in the background? You've got Alan Ball and Peter Shilton as well. And when you think that Martin Chivers can't even get on that bench, a million pounds worth of talent not playing for England this afternoon. Now Marsh. And Robertson quickly for Wales. Bobby Moore and Wynne Davis significantly winning that one well in the air. But nobody quite capitalising on it for the red shirts of Wales. Bell to Marsh. Will this be the surface for the skills of Rodney Marsh? And Rodrigues thinking about turning it back to Sprake. But McDonald was there. And a handball given against... Colin Bell and so a free kick to Wales
somehow the crowd here sensing that this might be the great day for Wales overlooking the fact perhaps what a dependable looking defense England have more they're missing that one and Toshak the whistle had gone and it had been turned wide and the referee having a right go at Terry Yorath who was complaining that the whistle shouldn't have been blown there that's Toshak England, who has been magnificent for Spurs in the last three months of the season. Quite easily beating MacDonald and now Rodrigues. A throw to Wales. At Wembley you have a great sense of occasion and somehow there's a homely passion about Ninian Park which sums to get, somehow gets through to these Welsh players. Hennessy, not a good one back. In one moment, perhaps, to have said that as he gives away the corner to England. The Welsh skipper. And it's going to be Mike Somerby to take it. McFarland, always dangerous from these dead ball positions, has come forward for it. McDonald going in and straight gathering it well, under a lot of pressure from the big men. So he got a knock in the face. And the Welsh trainer, Terry Medwin. A great winger with Wales, and now a trainer with Fulham, coming on. Caught it on the chest by the look of it. And I'm sure Gordon Banks would appreciate the pressure that goalkeepers uh, come under in moments like that when big men come piling in. But Sprake is all right. Moore and Hughes and another throw to Wales Hennessy with it and a good interception there by Norman Hunter for England still Norman Hunter onto the left foot there and Sprague goes down not too far away one Leeds United player confronted by another, and Norman Hunter allowed to go a long, long way by that Welsh defence. So, Sprake with the kick for Wales. Hennessy nodding it on. Oh, Hunter, a bad tackle there. On Ron Davis. The referee very quickly going in, but Hennessy wanting to get on with it. But in fact, uh, playing that ball before the whistle had blown, and I think uh, the referee wanted to make his point, and indeed he does, to Norman Hunter about that tackle before he allows the play to go on. Well, a lot will depend on Ron Davis and men like him, Wynn Davis and John Toshak, from this sort of kick. Their power in the air, always a danger to England, but not with that sort of shot. Straight to uh, Rodney Marsh, it's two against two. Some of you right in there, Marsh with the shot. And I doubt if he's very happy with that. Marsh, I know, was not very pleased with his performance in Berlin, wanting something now early in this game to stimulate him. Harris by Storey. There'll be a lot down to men like Storey and Hunter to win the ball in the middle of the field for England this afternoon. Hughes and Wynne Davis. And Hughes was pushing in on Wynne Davis. Rodrigues made the run for that short free kick. 
and crossed another dangerous high ball towards Ron Davis, and Banks just got a hand to it. Story helped it on the way to Somerville. And a free kick to England. So Story then to take the free kick for England. Roberts there for Wales, Moore for England and Rodrigues for Wales. Hughes in very quickly indeed. by Marsh on Roberts. Marsh playing a lot more forward in the opening uh, quarter of an hour of this game than he did in uh, Berlin last week. So Mike England then with the kick for Wales. High towards Wynn Davis. Hennessy to Rodrigues, trying to play that in first time to add a little pace to it all. And a throw to Wales again. <laughs> Hughes back to Bobby Moore. Delicately there to Emlyn Hughes. Marsh. And Roberts in before he could kill it successfully. But in fact... Uh, whether Marsh left his foot there or not, I don't know, but uh, the free kick is given to Wales, and Roberts is in trouble. with Rodney Marsh was uh, John Roberts gone straight there to his side again Hunter so a throw to Wales and Alan Durban with it Rodrigues. Roberts to Mike England. And again, that high ball pump forward. Ron Davis towards Wynn Davis and Bobby Moore in first with his head to Bell. Marsh. Played on beautifully for Colin Bell. A good positive run by Bell, but not too much room for him, although he's won the corner for England. So Marsh right in the uh, thick of it there as Summerby now prepares to take this corner for England. McFarland right in there too, curling in under Spriggs crossbar. A good grab though by Gary Spriggs. Rodrigues. And now Hennessy. Going straight to Hughes, nodded on nicely there by Marsh for Hughes to continue his run. McDonald and on for Bell. Bell is clear and Spreak is safe and a goal by Hughes. Evelyn Hughes has scored for England with 25 minutes gone. Bell who had a lot to do it, nodded on beautifully by Marsh and Bell was put clear. Break half saved it, and Hughes finished it off by picking up the broken pieces. So England go ahead now with 26 minutes gone. Wales nil, England won. Here's the score. 
Hunter. And Hunter again. And now Bobby Moore. Toshak, McFarlane. And now Peter Storey. Just the encouragement that England needed. They've faced so much criticism over the last two or three weeks. And to use the popular phrase, the popular word, backlash, a lot of people felt that they might be stung to really winning action here this afternoon. And that's a good enough start with a goal up in Cardiff after 25 minutes. So Sir Alf Ramsey, as relieved as anybody that England, after all that criticism, go in front. Not that you'd ever expect Sir Alf Ramsey to show it. Moore to McFarlane. In turn, the story. Marsh. Roberts faithfully policing him again, giving him no room. Again, Roberts in before Marsh. And the ball coming through to Ron Davis. And now for Hennessy. Wynn Davis beaten by Emlyn Hughes. <laughs> and England's throw. England a long way clear but into touch again and another throw to England Hughes And it seems the players unable to drag the ball away from the touchline on that far side. Moore now with a throw for England. And McFarlane has made the break for him and turned it on now towards Summerby. Well, that's Hennessy to Ron Davis. England. Toshak. To Yorath. Durban a flick on, hoping that someone will go for it. Wynn Davis in there, and McFarlane again, getting ahead to it for England. Story. McDonald. Tackle from behind by Mike England, unfair. Taking the player and not taking the ball, that player being Malcolm McDonald. So England's free kick. And Roy McFarlane, who's playing well at the back for England, losing nothing in the air to these... Great Welsh strikers. Now Bobby Moore with the kick. Bell and Maidley. Turn again towards McDonald on the far side. He took it well on his body, but England recovered quickly. Push that time by Toshek on Maidley. Another free kick to England. It's John Toshak. Moore with the kick again. A little chip. And Marsh was trying to hold back Roberts. These two having a real physical battle. Rodney Marsh and the number six here, John Roberts. Colin Bell to Emlyn Hughes. Moore. And Hunter couldn't get there because England had made a very positive run indeed from the back for Wales. And now it's with Ron Davis and Yorath coming forward. But some of you back there to rescue the ball again for England. 
Yorath to Roberts. A long ball searching forward, Toshak turning it on, and Moore leaving it for Gordon Banks. Rod Thomas's header. And Wynn Davis is Durban. Ron Davis. And Hughes to Hunter. Oh, good skills there by Hunter over the head of the on-rushing Hennessy, and it's with Bell. Story over on the right, and so is Maidley, and this is the ball for Maidley in a lot of space. Story. Trying to find an angle and a bit of space there. Marsh, it goes over Marsh's head, McDonald. The short ball to Summerby and Hughes coming in again for England. He won it across that goal. No more than a foot to spare. And Emlyn Hughes very nearly adding a second goal to the first one he scored to put England in front. So on a pitch where it's difficult certainly to play flowing and fluid football, England setting up a nice move there, right the length of the field and the breadth of the field. Thomas now to Toshak. There must be a certain numbness in the middle of that field. It's uh, been very heavy all season. No grass there at all. It's almost like a beach, in fact, with a tide out. So by no means underestimate the difficulties that's posing the players this afternoon. Hennessy to Rodrigues. Wynn Davis hoping to get in front of McFarlane. And now it's with Colin Bell to Mike Summerby. Trying to take Thomas on the outside, but those long legs of Thomas Played a season in the second division with Swindon Down and Swindon Town and quickly adjusts himself to the requirements of international football. A push. In fact, it couldn't have been a push by England. It must have been handball, I would have thought, by uh, McDonald. As he tried to chest that one away. McFarland, Hunter, played for Hughes, and Marsh battling for the ball, but England winning it in the end, and finding Rodriguez. Story to Maidley. Peter Story. Marsh again trying to come away from Roberts, but Roberts is right there with him, and Marsh, in fact, outwitted him, and he was surely pulling back Marsh there. But play on, says the referee, Bell, and it comes to McDonald, and it comes to Marsh again, and Sprague is complaining that there was an infringement there, but the ball went behind while he was complaining for a corner to England. Marsh really outwitting Roberts, probably for the first time in the game there. Roberts thinking that ball was going over, and Marsh never allowing it to do so. Summerby with the corner, a deep one, and Sprague not getting McFarland in there. McDonald reaching for it, Marsh too, and finally Wales getting it away as far as Bell. Moore. And Summerby. And Maidley. And Maidley still had plenty of way, plenty of distance to go. McFarland right in there, hoping that the chance will come his way. And Thomas getting it clear now to Ron Davis. Toshak, Yorath. There is certainly a bite about England that was uh, rarely in evidence a week ago against West Germany. Donald a little unlucky not to get to that one. In fact, Yorath eventually putting it between his legs. A long one clear to win Davis. Got it back there. Toshak 
and Bank saving it when England thought that Wales were offside. Complaining there, McFarlane to the linesman, and Banks doing well to save from Toshak. Well, he earned his fee there, Gordon Banks. Story crouching in that characteristic, characteristic pose, very alert indeed, as Durban takes the corner low towards England. Hunter prepared to give away another corner. So Story begins that crouch again, looking everywhere, Toshak hoping for something, Moore making sure the defence is organised. And Alan Durban again to take the corner for Wales. Another low one, Story giving away another corner. So now with seven minutes to go to half-time, the pressure on England. Hennessy right in there, that's deeper towards him. Toshak couldn't get the head to it. Yorath nodding it back in again, but his Leeds teammate Hunter getting it away for England. Now Somerby. Played wide for Bell. Bell losing it to Thomas. Peter Rodriguez. But Hunter and Hughes between them, stopping him, but at the expense of a free kick. So once more, the big men are coming forward. There are enough forward already for Wales. England coming up to support them now. England right in there. Rodriguez with the free kick. And Banks under a lot of pressure. Ron Davis putting it back, and Hughes putting it behind. But in fact, even before Davis turned it back, Ron Davis here turned it back. The ball must have been over the line, because Gordon Banks gets the goal kick for England. Five minutes to go now, two half time. England still leading by a golden ill. Scored by Emlyn Hughes. Aggressive, but a great competitor. Always a fellow to have in the middle of the field if you want to win a ball, Peter Storey. Summerby now back again to Storey. McDonald. Summerby. Storey versus Yorath. And Storey going down. And Yorath is going to be booked. For that tackle on Story. Mr. Mullen saying, I'm having none of it. And Story, who gets in a fair number of fierce tackles himself in the course of a season, found that he was the biter bit there. But Yorath, the man who did the biting, finds his name in the book. And Story. Not content with that, in fact, is giving Yorath a piece of his mind as well as Bell takes the free kick. McFarlane. Maidley. And Hennessy there, first for Wales. Hunter played back very cutely indeed there for McFarlane. On for Story, Moore given very little time there. And now for Marsh. The linesman's flag is up, and Sprake, in any case, saved it. Marsh was free, but he was offside. So a lot of credit there to Gary Sprake, because he wasn't to know that the linesman's flag was up, and he did all that he had to do. Here's England. But a lot of credit to Sprake for that save. It didn't count in the end, but it might well have done, and he wasn't to know. Maidley. Oh, there was an elbow going in there by Story on Yorath. And Wales wanted to get on with it, and it's Thomas now. 
That'll be Bur uh, Marsh, rather. Only McDonald is up. And the comforting side for Wales was that Mike England was back. England again. Bell. Story. And now Rodriguez. Three minutes to go to half time. England's throw on the far side. And that came off Rodriguez for another throw to England. Young supporters from Wales, they don't see too much international football down here, but obviously enjoying what they're seeing this afternoon. And what a view they've got, the same as the England substitutes. Well, MacDonald, who's got the long throw for England with Chivers out of the side. Good long throw it is, too long in fact for Rodney Marsh. Hunter went in, but it was over for the goal kick. Colin Todd there with the England trainer Harold Shepperson and Larry Lloyd. Good win in the air again by McFarlane. But now Rodriguez for Wales. Tried a ball sweeping across the field there to Yorath, or rather to Toshak. Yorath was away behind him. And now Roberts. Oh, and he's lost this one to Marsh. Oh, and England quite blatantly kicking Marsh. Now England has surely got to be severely dealt with for that. That was a blatant piece of kicking by the Welsh number five, who is walking away I don't know why he thinks he shouldn't get uh, at least booked for that. And I would think, in all honesty, he's lucky not to have been sent off. Marsh was away, and England quite blatantly took his legs without a hope ever of making contact with the ball. And I would say Mike England is lucky still to be on the field. So it's Moore with the free kick. Marsh trying to stick out a leg and turn it on to uh, Bell. Moore pumping it forward again. McDonald. A low one towards Summerby, but Yoroth was there first. England turning it wide. to story McFarlane and Bell wouldn't get to it and so it's a goal kick for Wales as we're now in injury time at the end of the first half and I would think Dave Bowen the Welsh manager and Terry Medwin the trainer will go into that dressing room hoping to find something to pull this goal back Colin Bell because certainly England have looked a far better proposition than they did a week ago. Much more adventurous on it's certainly a very difficult surface here at Ninian Park. And playing much better together. Toshak to Hennessy. And now for Ron Davis. Almost getting that into the path of Durban, but instead it's Colin Bell slipping at one side of uh, Rodriguez and running the other. Hunter winning a lot of decisive balls in the middle of the field with Story. Here's Story. The last seconds of the first half, and it's Summerby. In for Maidley. Now will Maidley let one fly, but it's wide. But again, that Welsh defence hesitating and giving men coming forward for England more room than they really have a right to expect. Gary Sprake, 
with the goal kick for Wales. As the whistle goes for half-time, so far so good for England. Going in at half-time with the goal scored by Emlyn Hughes, their number three, to put them into the lead. A difficult pitch, and not the best of matches, but a much better performance by England in this first half than, we showed, than they showed against uh, West Germany in Berlin last Saturday. And so we have a half-time score here at Ninian Park of Wales nil. England won, and we'll bring you the second half in just a couple of minutes.
it looks as though before we start the second half as though John Roberts the number six is hobbling away and may not even start this second half and in fact Roberts is not even going to start Well, that's a setback for Wales because although at times he'd been rather cumbersome in the way that he'd handled uh, Rodney Marsh, uh, he'd done a good job on him. And Gil Rees now is coming on as substitute for Wales. Yeah, if you're behind the line, you're okay. Wales, who in all honesty have uh, rarely shown the fire that you expect to find from men wearing the red shirts of their country, and indeed rarely have found the flair that is going to be needed to overcome an England side that is showing such better form this afternoon so now England then get us away at the start of the second half leading by Emlyn Hughes's goal and McDonald gets it in motion Moore a long one forward bright sunshine now here at Ninian Park after so much rain And Hunter winning it well in the air. And Yorath instantly has gone into the back four for Wales, leaving Reese a chance to go into the middle of the field. Good work there by Maidley. Stopped by Mike England. And now Rodriguez. And that ball has not gone out of play. Now it has. Off the head of Rodrigues for a throw to England. A long throw by Hunter, and Yorath now has taken over the job of uh, John Roberts of marking Rodney Marsh. Bell's made a good run there, and uh, in fact taken the throw from Marsh. Hunter. And now Reese. Oh, collision with Hunter there, not to be recommended so quickly when you've come on Summerby Bell looking so much more positive Bell this time what a bad back pass there by Hennessy to McDonald and now Bell with a great chance oh and he's missed his chance McDonald tried to get it on the left foot and England was so slow to take advantage of a bad back pass by Terry Hennessy Bell certainly should have made uh, a shot whiz in, I would have thought, a lot quicker than he uh, attempted to. And I would have thought that uh, got Sprake's heart pounding a little bit with that back pass going straight to McDonald. Here's more. McDonald again. England. Ron Davis. And now Toshak. Played nicely wide there for Alan Durban. And turned again. This will test Banks. And in fact, Moore. And he gets it away. But how he got it away, only he knows. As Ron Davis and Wynn Davis both went roaring in. Banks is down and injured. And that ball cannoned away from them. And looked as though it was going over the line until it hit Bobby Moore. And a very good Welsh cross indeed it was by uh, Durban. Always looked as though it was going to cause Banks trouble. Swinging away from him. So even the linesman, there you are, the sun really is out now. And if you'd been here this morning when the skies were grey and the rain was hurtling down, you would never have thought that you'd had trouble with the sun today. Colin Bell with one chance going his way in this half already. Toshak to England. Well, that'll come for Hunter. Quick forward there for McDonald. And Rodrigues with a lot of determination coming back for Wales. 
Really gritting his teeth there to come back and challenge McDonald. England. And Wynne Davis beautifully timing that one to nod it on, but Bobby Moore there. Rodrigues, Durban, and England. High again towards Toshak. But in fact, finding Banks. Marsh v. Yorath. England. Story with England's throw. McFarland. And now Toshak with a chance to bring it away, but in fact, a free kick given to England for the foul by Thomas. Farland again right in there for England. Bobby Moore taking the kick. Marsh trying to get to it first. Story to Maidley. Hughes is waiting for it on this side. Here's Hughes. And beyond him still is McFarlane. Roy McFarlane. Cross straight at Ron Davis. And played for Durban. Inside first time for Toshak. Neatly back to Rodriguez in the long one forward. But into England territory. Somerby to Moore. Reese And Hennessy. His determination taking him through there and giving him another chance as he finds Durban. The little cross by Durban towards Win Davis and fisted away by Banks. Now Bell. A lot of England players forward and Marsh with a lot of space there, now faced by Yorath. Marsh trying to get it one way, and Marsh trying to get another goal, and Spring diving at his feet. <laughs> McFarlane, Story, Marsh, the first faint signs that Marsh might be finding a little more freedom against Yorath in this half than he did against Roberts in the first half. McFarlane. And nodded on by Hunter again for Marsh, again in a lot of space. Bell ahead of him. Yorath really caught in no man's land there. Colin Bell, and that was no more than a yard wide, and it must have caught a Welsh player as it went by because it's England's corner. <laughs> Rodriguez at the near post, Thomas at the far post, and between them, Gary Sprague. Summerby with the corner for England. Sprague going for it, in fact, not getting it, and kicked off the line, and not really very confidently there by uh, Thomas it was McFarlane's header that very nearly found a way through and Rod Thomas half slicing it behind for another corner Summerby again then with a the corner Hughes winning it in the air Yorath Hunter nodding it back again and it'll come free now for Bobby Moore the confidence in the world to take on Wynne Davis and plant one towards Rodney Marsh. Trying to reverse one for Bell, but it didn't quite come off, and if it had, it would have been a brilliant one. Toshak. To Reese. And stopped by Hunter. Donald over on the right for him. Summerby and Marsh both in the middle. 
Summerby trying to lay it off again for Norman Hunter, just a little too deliberate. And now Durban for Wales. The game really has changed its character completely in this second half with a lot of openings coming, particularly England's way. And really not quite so much skirmishing in the middle of the field. Story now. Hunter and Maidley Bell and Summerby completely free on the right the cross there towards McDonald but Yoroth was there Bell trying to catch it and Marsh and it must go no it's been disallowed it's disallowed an offside decision and so Marsh with a header the went off spray doesn't count. And Rodriguez to take up the running for Wales. But Wales at the moment looking all out of sorts at the back. But you would think that that could well be the prelude of more England goals. The story makes the break this time for England. Yorath going across to challenge it. Summerby. And Durban couldn't quite get a foot to it, but neither could Summerby the way he wanted to. So Sprague, who really has been left exposed once or twice in this second half. And a handball given against uh, Roy McFarlane. Free kick to Williams. With ten minutes of the second half gone. a great battle of attrition in the first half with England rather getting the better of it. It's much more open in the second half as England went right forward but nodding it behind for the goal kick to England. Maidley. Marsh in first, nodding it on, McDonald offside, linesman flagging. Good decision there by the linesman. It was only a yard or so in it. What a bad kick there by England going straight to Hunter. Hughes. Cutting inside Durban and letting one fly, but straight against uh, Terry Hennessy. Marsh now with no room. And Storey letting one fly. And down goes Sprague. That time Ron Davis nodding it on, Wynn Davis hoping that it will fall his way. Play on, says the referee, and Bobby Moore clears his lines again towards McDonald. England with his head. Wynn Davis. And now Story. Bell. Maidley. Towards McDonald, and again England winning it in the air. The two number fives really have been decisive in the air this afternoon. And of course, it was so much more important that uh, McFarlane should have been against these fine headers of the ball amongst the Welsh strikers, Ron Davis and Wynn Davis and Toczak. And McDonald really has been overshadowed in the air by Mike England. Arguing whose throw it is, it's Wales. Toczak. Another one for McFarlane to show what he's like in the air. And again, McFarlane gets there first. Hennessy, Ron Davis, and another on. Oh, and just passed there by Durban. Alan Durban coming within an ace of scoring the equaliser for Wales. So though England... England for a long time have looked in a different class. It emphasises it again that there's just one goal in it and one mistake or one flash of inspiration as Wales come forward and it really could all be level again. Colin Bell now for England. Story. Only McDonald is in that Welsh penalty area but he's got there to find Marsh. Oh, and a magnificent goal! 
Rodney Marsh. Oh, what a superb goal by Marsh. All Sprake can do is pull it out. The cross came over, nodded back, and Marsh catching it superbly on the volley. That was a super goal, and it puts England 2-0 into the lead with just over 20 minutes to go. Well, I know for conversations with him that he was very disappointed with his performance in uh, Berlin a week ago when he got his real first big break. But that'll make him feel a lot, lot better. Summerby. And Bell with a chance, and Bell has scored again! Two goals in a minute for England. And Manchester City at the moment are rampant. Because that goal was made for him by Mike Summerby. His twinkling run down the right. And Bell just lifting it over the head of Sprague. 3-0. So... Wales, who a minute ago very nearly pulled it back to make it 1-1, now find the cause most surely a lost one. 3-0 down. England finding Rodrigues. And now Bell. Well, they talked about the backlash after all the criticism that England have received. And maybe they were stung by it because their former performance today has been on an altogether different level to the one we saw in Berlin a week ago. They played with an appetite for the game and a flair and above all a bite. Across there towards Banks. Again, an unfair challenge by Ron Davis on the England goalkeeper. Well, Sir Alf Ramsey, you wouldn't even expect him to smile with 3-0 up. But inside, I should think he must be well pleased that England now are so comfortably placed. So Banks, who takes a fair bit of buffeting during the course of a season, all right again. And Banks with a kick for England. McDonald. Hunter struggling to get there first, and his determination and strength taking him through Durban, and Durban coming back. And Rodrigues eventually taking Hunter down, claiming, as you could see, that he thought Hunter was diving. But the referee gives the free kick to England. Bell. Hunter. And Marsh. Really in the mood for it now, Marsh. Going past the ball. And the flick there. And McDonald couldn't quite poke it in. But that was Marsh with the confidence that comes from scoring a fine goal for England. Rodriguez to Toshak. And now to Rodriguez. McFarlane. And now Durban. Towards Ron Davis and nodded on and banks down well to save. Good throw by the England goalkeeper as well to Mike Summerby. Played on for Bell. That's a good positive run by Colin Bell. He's only got McDonald in the middle and that's aimed towards him. And it goes off Mike England for the corner to England.
so it'll be England's corner. Summerby taking the short one for Peter Storey. Back with Summerby again. And the little chip there towards McDonald, but Yorath who heads it away. Summerby. Marsh brought down on the edge of that area by uh, Peter Rodriguez and a free kick to England. Sprake, who's been on the receiving end of a lot now, and here comes the free kick in, and Hennessy's head getting it away as far as Hughes once more. Good cross again by Hughes. He didn't have too much room to get it over, but in fact it was Reese. And now Moore taking it in. Hunter trying to play a 1-2 with his England captain, but now Toshak for Wales. But although Moore had gone forward, he'd left Maidley behind, and Paul Maidley now for England. England so much in command, so much on top, 3-0 ahead, and really the suggestion that they could score again before this match is over. Sprague gathering that one. But now something like eight minutes left. Bell, but only putting it there for Reese. And Ron Davis well offside, and a rather muddled attack there by Wales coming forward. Rather dispirited, and Davis, who's had so uh, few chances of beating the likes of Roy McFarlane in the air. Bell. And Summerby. Maidley. Hughes. Hunter. Well, there was all the talk about the England players being tired. If anybody's looking tired at the moment, it's the Welsh side with, who's had so much chasing to do this afternoon. And England looking aggressive and sprightly with a lot of flair, too. Toshak. Thomas. Bell, McDonnell, England going right there with him, and certainly England has done his job for Wales this afternoon. Summerby, McDonald, Story, Summerby once more. England really playing at the pace they want to play. Hennessy getting above Bell. Reese Losing it again to Summerby, and now Durban. But easily gobbled up by that English defence. And the ball with Bobby Moore. Hughes. A little over five minutes left. And Reese getting in first. Ron Davis now for Wales. Rodrigues. And now Reese turning it again. Ron Davis hoping to turn on it and make uh, a shot that counts, but instead it's Colin Bell for England. Maidley. Long strides of Maidley, and look how far he's gone without being challenged. McDonald, can he turn it back? But only as far as Yorath. And really an indication there of the lack of challenge in that Welsh defence again. Maidley going some 40 or 50 yards without ever once being seriously challenged. Ron Davis. But McFarlane taking it away. Thank you very much, he says. And an Flick there to Bobby Moore. Yorath, and in comes Bell before Wales really can react to it. Ron Davis, though, to Reese. The Cardiff crowd almost silenced now by the dominance of England, and the fire really has gone out of Wales. Reese, although in all truth it was there in very small quantities, these uh, Welshmen this afternoon. Crossed again by Thomas this time. 
Wynn Davis getting ahead, Hennessy going in, and down goes Banks once more from the feet of Durban. And he very nearly lost it, Banks as well. Some of his header, but Yorath to gather it for Wales and play it back to Gary Spreek. Durban, and now Toshak, flicked on for Ron Davis, and mainly again there in the nick of time, Win Davis, blasting one, and Ron Davis putting it in, but he's offside, he is offside, about 30 or 40 or 50 young boys are on the field, but the linesman had his flag up, the game is going on, but the referee will have to stop it, because there are something like 200 rather silly young boys on the field, for a goal that's been disallowed. Well, it gives them a breather, I suppose. But there really isn't, uh, without being too much of a spoil sport about it, there really isn't too much sense in it. So the referee has a chat with Paul Maidley, and Colin Bell's going along to give his views as well. The weather's not bad, and we're winning well. And maybe we shall uh, get the game started again. Bobby Moore's having a sit down, and Emlyn Hughes, they are thankful too. And Emlyn Hughes enjoying the rest. And there are one or two stewards who are trying to get the. Uh, people off the ground and one or two policemen <laughs> marching boldly around the edge of the pitch and the uh... I think that's the last of them now Gary Sprague having a chew as usual the most compulsive chewer of gum that I've ever met and I think proceedings might start again and all for nothing, because the goal was disallowed. And a drop ball, and the feet went kicking, and mainly to turn it back to Gordon Banks. Not too many smiles there. Marsh. Through the legs of Durban. And a lovely ball there by Marsh to Storey. Minute and a half to go, Peter Storey for England. Back with Norman Hunter, Rodney Marsh. Hunter again beaten by Reese. Wales coming forward and really all they can hope for is a goal to give the match some sort of respectability for them. Because in all honesty, they've been thoroughly outclassed by a very fine England performance this afternoon. Moore to Hunter. Finding Maidley, but Maidley for once couldn't keep it in. Although a lot of focus, of course, was on uh, McFarlane and Moore in the centre of that back four because of the fear that we had for Toshak and the two Davises in the air. Hughes and Maidley, too, have done a tremendous job at the back for England. On the flanks. Maidley that time poking it back to Banks. Donald. For a moment it looked as though he might have got past England for the first time. But England now having his battle with Bell and Marsh steaming in again. But Yorath to take it away for Wales. The short ball to Durban. And a snap in the back by Summerby on Yorath.
And Terry Medwin on to uh, give him some treatment. the red and white cap of Wales and a sad little face on the top of it or at least underneath it Ninian Park of course is a great place to be when Wales are winning or doing well but it's as silent almost as the grave at the moment because the Welshmen have come in rain early this afternoon to see their side so badly outclassed but now Durban trying to do something about it more to story and England really a most encouraging performance for them Hunter oh Hunter going in while two Welshmen waited and still Norman Hunter but stopped in the end by Hennessy and Hunter coming back for some more but a goal kick to Wales Well, I think they'll assume now that they're not going to be called on this afternoon for England, those substitutes. As the final whistle goes, and England have scored a very good victory indeed. The goals by Hughes in the first half, by Marsh and by Bell in the second, and Rodney Marsh, who put on a showman display with some touches in the second half, that were pure Rodney. So the crowds bursting on in their hundreds at Ninian Park. Nothing much to cheer if you're a Welshman, but plenty to cheer if you're an Englishman with a final scoreline that reads Wales nil, England three. <laughs>